Tesla's Model S and X vehicles have been on the market since 2012 and 2015, respectively. These vehicles of high sentimental value for Elon Musk, who calls the Model X the Fabergé egg of cars, given all of its features including, of course, the unique Falcon wing doors. However, consumers have been eagerly anticipating a refresh for these legacy vehicles and have been hoping that Tesla brings something new and refreshing to the market with its premium cars. Finally, Elon Musk and the team at Tesla have announced an entire suite of new features and a new look for the Model S and X. So let's have a look at what Tesla is bringing to the table and what it could mean for the sales of Tesla's highest end vehicles. Before we begin, we'd like to give a very special thanks to our sponsor for this video, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is a problem-solving based website and app with a hands-on approach to learning math, computer science, and engineering. I was looking at their Intro to Neural Networks course, which helps to teach concepts similar to those used in Tesla's full self-driving software to have the vehicle drive on its own. Brilliant has over 60 courses that have storytelling, code writing, and interactive challenges. I also found that they have a very active community which helps to both ask and answer challenging questions. So head on over to brilliant.org slash the market is open and you can sign up for free. And also the first 200 people that go to the link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go check out brilliant.org slash the market is open right now to take advantage of this offer. In Tesla's most recent earning results, they showed their vehicle production for the fourth quarter of last year. Model S and X deliveries were actually down 3% from the same time period in the prior year. They delivered 18,966 vehicles, which is a decline from over 19,000 a year ago. And what's interesting to point out is that the production for Model S and X declined as well from the prior quarter and was down 10% from the year ago quarter. So these vehicles, which once peaked at around 100,000 per year, or 25,000 on average per quarter, are now far below that amount and have been in decline. And these are Tesla's highest priced vehicles currently on the market. At one point, Elon Musk was even debating if Tesla should continue producing these vehicles as sales have declined over the years and they're taking away resources from Tesla's Model 3 and Y expansion. That said, it's important to keep in mind that the Model S and X are highly profitable vehicles and reinvesting the sales of these cars is what funded Tesla's original Gigafactory and Model 3 program in the first place. However, in this last quarter that Tesla reported, they showed something strange, which was an increase of Model S and X capacity at their Fremont facility, which is the only facility that produces these two vehicles worldwide. But why would Tesla increase capacity for a product that isn't selling well? Deliveries were just over 60% of the old capacity, so why would Tesla use up resources to focus on that? For a long time, customers have been pushing for a Model S and X refresh, and Tesla is finally prepared to bring this to market along with its Plaid powertrain. The increase in capacity for these two vehicles signals that Tesla is confident that they can reinvigorate the interest in these premium cars and also bring sales back to their all-time highs. Elon Musk announced that Tesla will no longer be selling the performance versions of the Model S and X and will instead only be selling its even more performant Plaid versions of the vehicle. They converted their factory to produce only these cars at the end of 2020. This is the first time in 8 years that Tesla will be revamping the internals by redesigning the battery pack and changing the powertrain. Previously, Model S and X dual motor were making use of a specific motor designed specifically for these vehicles as well as using the Tesla Model 3 motor. Tesla now states that the motor technology from the Model 3 and Y will now be found throughout the Model S and X as the Model 3 motors are more efficient and provide higher performance. This is a pretty big deal as well for Tesla to use more parts that are common to all of its vehicles and they can cut costs this way and effortlessly boost production which may help explain why Model S and X capacity rose. The vehicles will also be sporting Tesla's heat pump, which started on the Model Y and has made its way throughout Tesla's vehicle lineup at the end of 2020. This will help reduce battery drain in the wintertime and will provide more range for vehicles. Tesla states that its changes to Model S and Model X will allow for five times more high speed quarter mile runs. Clearly, they are pushing these vehicles as high performance cars, even the Model X, which is a great family car that can outrun most Lamborghinis. The Model S Plaid is the fastest production car ever made, breaking below the 2 second 0 to 60 acceleration time barrier, but Tesla isn't finished yet. They also have a Plaid Plus vehicle for sale. 
Tesla's Plaid Model S is their triple motor setup, which allows for increased performance, traction, and energy efficiency. While the long-range dual motor version still has 412 miles of range, Plaid Plus will bring over 520 miles of range to their vehicle. It will likely be the only model at first to use Tesla's 4680 batteries coming out of their Pilot battery facility at Fremont, which is what's allowing for such a gigantic range boost. Elon Musk has stated on the conference call that the 18650 batteries are still in use and that's likely what's inside the long range and Plaid versions. Even the regular Plaid has 390 miles of range, so going to Plaid Plus adds 130 miles of range and even more performance. As an aside, this gap is a little bit scary for competitors because Tesla's new 4680 batteries will be used in Model Y vehicles coming out of Tesla's upcoming Berlin factory this year, which will result in cheaper, more performant cars with higher range. And it looks like we're getting a taste of that now with the Plaid Plus, which is only available for Model S currently. So for Model S, the Plaid Plus sells at $139,000, which sounds expensive, but it's quite affordable compared to what we used to call supercars that are out there. In terms of the changes made to the new Model S, there are a few tweaks on the exterior of the vehicle, some of which may make a large difference. For starters, the front bumper looks simpler, and they have chrome delete throughout. But Tesla has also been able to reduce the drag coefficient to the lowest ever for a production car at 0.208 from about 0.24, and even the Model X now has a drag coefficient of 0.25, which is amazing for an SUV, the best on the planet. But the real noticeable changes come from what's inside. This is what the old Model S looked like. It had two screens, a main vertical screen, and one behind the steering wheel cluster showing vehicle information. But now Tesla updated the interior to this. So they're using a screen similar to the Model 3 and Model Y now in the front. Again, that's another common part which will reduce cost and complexity. You no longer need two teams working on two different types of screens or having to adjust each application to fit two different form factors. And you still get the screen above the steering wheel which the Model S and X had before. There's also a screen in the back for rear passengers, so Tesla is really focusing on maximizing entertainment value with this new refresh. Elon Musk has always aimed to make these rides the most fun you'll ever have, and they're trying to create a convenient user experience. There's also phone chargers embedded within the front console and in the middle armrest in the back. They've also put in a premium 22-speaker audio system with active noise cancelling in the car and a new steering wheel what they call yoke steering, very similar to what they're looking to have in the new Roadster. The steering wheel also doubles as a controller for some of their car games, but what you'll notice is that there's no gear shifting and there's no signaling, no windshield wipers. So the question is, how do you use these features? How do you use the wipers and how do you go in reverse? Even in current Teslas, the windshield wipers come on automatically when rain is detected. In terms of going in reverse, Elon Musk says that the car guesses based on the obstacles in front, the context, and the navigation map. And of course there are overrides still available on the touchscreen. Speaking of which, the car has a gaming computer built in with 10 teraflops of processing power, probably more than many people's home computers, and so they're not kidding, this will be a gaming station while you're away from home or maybe just at home playing in your garage but the vehicle comes with increased storage space that's upgradable for playing full-fledged games on this new type of in-car gaming platform. And guys, if you like this video so far, we'd super appreciate a thumbs up, and also stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back nine years, and it's all freely available. Elon Musk has also said on Tesla's most recent conference call that the Plaid Model S will be delivering in February, Model X a little bit after that. Completely new interior, Elon calls it a tremendous improvement over the prior version, the best car of any kind at any price available in the world today. So that's a pretty big statement, but in reality, no one has anything else even close to this entertainment experience in their vehicles. And it also looks like the Plaid Plus Model S will begin deliveries later in 2021. And again, there doesn't appear to be a Plaid Plus Model X currently, and it doesn't seem like that's needed anyways. Now, on top of the black and white interiors, Tesla has also added a cream-colored interior, which is pretty fancy. And overall, this is a huge interior refresh that customers have been waiting for. In the past, people have associated lots of buttons and dials with luxury, but Tesla's minimalist theme is still prevailing as it doubles as an entertainment powerhouse without any of the clutter. 
Of course, there are many new small features and features that you would still be getting even with the older versions of the Model S that are exclusive to Model S and X. The Plaid version allows the temperature to be controlled from the main screen as if the airflow is coming from the screens themselves. The vehicle has overheat protection, sentry mode, dog mode, same as Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y for those. All the seats are heated, they have a heated steering wheel and a heated windshield, and the bioweapon defense mode of course, with Tesla's large HEPA filter which is exclusive to Tesla's larger vehicles. Model X also offers three different seating layouts for 5, 6, or 7 passengers. It's another $6,500 for 6 seats, but only $3,500 more for a total of 7 seats probably because it's two separate parts if they need to separate the seats in the second row versus with seven seats, the middle row is just one piece. But this just shows how Tesla is offering variety for different size families and user experiences. Tesla's Model Y just started getting a third row of seats, which I think will greatly expand the market, but Model X has always been a larger vehicle, and also these are still front-facing seats. Overall, Tesla has taken steps to revamp the Model S and X lineup and positioned these vehicles more heavily in the premium luxury market with unmatched performance, triple motors, and ultra-long range. Customers have been hoping for an interior refresh for quite some time, and Tesla has listened to what they had to say and delivered something fresh and exciting. Not only will this likely give a boost to Tesla's sales, but these high margin vehicles will help increase the average selling price of a Tesla, something that investors have been looking for. I think Tesla continues to look into the future and extract the features that they want to see in their own vehicles and bring those features and experiences to the masses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to show some love to our sponsor at brilliant.org slash the market is open. Please hit the like button on this video, we'd super appreciate that. And you can support us further on Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. So thank you guys so much for watching.